Hey guys, today I want to talk about crankbait for big smallmouth. I'm not sure if there's anything more fun than catching big smallmouth on a crankbait. It's pre-spawn and they're eating the DT-16. I'm throwing a deep diver. It's that time of year, there's pre-spawners and post-spawn fish. It's kind of cold front conditions, bluebird skies, and a little bit of wind. And that's when I like to dig out the crankbait. I'm fishing in about that 15 foot of water, uh, boat sitting in about 20, and I'm throwing over these brake lines, humps, points, anything I can find for staging fish. Pre-spawn, post-spawn, they're coming and going this time of the year, but it is hard to beat a crankbait when you get a little bit of wind and sun. A lot of good colors, as you know, everybody knows about the DTs. Uh, for smallmouth though, either like the whites, the shad type colors, Helsinki shad, any of those white colors with a darker back, and Rasta, Caribbean shad, blues, anything chartreuse, uh, these colors really work good for the smallmouth. For typical crankbait fishing in the summer, I'm using usually a close to an 8 foot rod, 710, 711. Um, but for this, I kind of like a shorter rod, whipping it out there, making long casts. It's just personal preference. I'm using a 7-1. This happens to be an Envy cranking series rod from 13 Fishing. A lot of moderate action, good bend but also that really good backbone that you need to drive those hooks home and fight these fish in. And I'm also normally using a little bit heavier line. So I'm using 17 pound. I'll use 14 sometimes, but usually for this, I'm using a heavier line than I typically would for cranking, just because I want to horse these fish in, get them on the surface and fly them to the boat. That's the key. Reel, a lot of guys use slower reels for cranking. Not me, I like these real fast reels, eight to one, throwing it really far. A lot of times I'm reeling it kind of fast, depends on how warm the water is. And that's my setup, pretty simple. Now I'll show you how I fish it. So I like to get spot lock upwind and fish downwind, make that super long cast and bring it over the top of that structure. Uh, most of the time I'm able to hit the bottom with the DT 16 and 15 feet with this bigger line as long as you make a nice long cast. So if I can touch the bottom that's that's really good but sometimes they'll hit it just reeling it uh, in open space which is a lot different than largemouth fishing. In that case you know I kind of want to be more erratic with the bait not just throw it out there and reel it back in. Crank it down get it as deep as I can and then, and then give it a bunch of hard twitches, almost like a jerk bait. And there's no better way to catch a bunch of fish really, really quick. They hit it so hard. 